My name is Sparrow and I'm a prefect, and I'm here to talk to you about the importance of reading. Reading is very important for many reasons, and as we all may already know, it is important because it helps us develop our thoughts, gives us endless knowledge and lessons while keeping our minds active. Books can hold and keep all kinds of information, stories, thoughts, and feelings, unlike anything else in the world. The importance of a book is to help us learn and understand things that cannot be underestimated. For Book Week, I chose The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank because I think it's a beautiful book that illustrates the importance of being grateful and appreciating all the little things. Another really important thing is that everyone should be treated the same regardless of what you think of them, which is really beautifully written in this book. I read this book in the fifth grade, which is why I think it's suitable for all people and all ages. I hope you can pick up a book and enjoy yourself, and make sure to pick up a book that you enjoy. Stay safe and have a good day. I think reading is super, super, super duper important because reading enhances your vocabulary, your sentence structure, your grammar, and everything we've been hearing about. But in addition to that, reading also engages the frontal lobe of your brain, um, which is you know responsible for communication and comprehension. So in other words, the more you read, the better listener and speaker you become. Okay, but. I mean, I understand not a lot of people like reading these days, and I mean, it's fine, but some of the books that I'm about to suggest are definitely worth the look, okay? They're definitely worth the look. So, first, Harry Potter, okay? Harry Potter is definitely on the list. His, the, the books, they're all amazing. They're just such a great, um, you know, world to get into. Then, Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson books are amazing too. Um, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, they're just so many. This is like a small proportion of the list. They're just like an, an enormous amount of books out there for you to read, okay? Now, for children, okay? Personally, I used to read Roald Dahl a lot. Roald Dahl is an amazing children's author. Um, his books like The BFG, Matilda, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, James and the Giant Peach, The Twits, The Witches. These are all his books and I read almost all of them and they're amazing. Trust me, they're, they're, they won't get you bored. They, you will love it. Um, let's look at the more classic novels out there. So, classic novels like um, Moby Dick by Charles Dickens. Um, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens as well, The Great Gatsby by Scott Fitzgerald, um, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, I'm reading them all off my list right now. Um, I want to try them out, but I personally don't have enough time. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you've got time, do definitely go try these out, because they're classics. Um, here are some of my favorites. Some of, my, some of the best books that I think I've ever read are called The Second Child by John Saul, Secrets, and Trust Me, both by the same author called um, Leslie Pierce. And if you ever need these books, you know, you can let me know. You can just email me and I'll let you have them for some time. And you can read them and let me know how it is. Okay. Really, the list is never ending because there are so many books out there. There are ebooks, there are paperbacks, just so many books for you to read and explore. Um, likewise, there are just so many genres as well. There's psychological thriller, horror, um, fantasy, so many more. Okay, there are so many more, and you won't get bored if you just take the time to explore more books. You won't get bored. Um, so keep reading, right? Keep reading. Not the textbooks that you have right now. I mean, read them as well, of course, but read other books as well for fun. Um, also, uh, a little note about the Oracy Challenge. So every week, your tutors will post a link to a Flipkart, Flipgrid video, I believe, yeah, Flipgrid video, um, where you can record a video of yourself speaking about a certain topic for example health and safety maybe and then you'll be asked to like speak about speak about health and safety for one minute and post it on flipgrid okay by all means go ahead and do that 
Um, I think we'll get some prizes as well, some exciting prizes. So don't forget the Orsi challenge. Anyways, bye guys, keep reading.